All right, thanks, guys. Welcome to part one of my college basketball pick uh, show for the day. Uh, we do have another college basketball uh, pick video coming out. A little bit out of order today. Normally, I'll do uh, NBA first, uh, but I'm doing college basketball because we have a huge slate and we're getting started early here. So uh, let's go ahead and dive into it. Now, real quick, we improved to 4-0 in our last four NBA package picks yesterday on Patreon.com slash Brock Page. It's also going to put us at 6-2 in our last eight uh, crowd-pleaser teasers. Now, we did go 2-3 and three yesterday, uh, a, a losing day, the first of uh, very few over the past couple of weeks. But uh, we did improve to 4-0 in our last four NBA pick. Uh, package picks on that site. So if you want more information, click the link in the description section below. A lot of fun over there on the Patreon website. Uh, there is a lot of banner. You think uh, you think there's a lot of comments and banter here on YouTube. I'll tell you, man, it gets rowdy in the comments section on Patreon. Once again, link for that site is in the, the uh, you know description section below. Once again, that is patreon.com slash Brock Page. All right, let's go ahead and dive into it. We're going to start with LSU taking on Auburn, 12 o'clock Eastern tip-off. Uh, Auburn's minus five, total at 153. Now, we did see a half a point fade of Auburn and movement downward on the total. The Tigers open five and a half down to minus five. Total of 153 and a half down to 153. 52% are leaning Auburn, 61% shaded toward the over. Right now, LSU is plus $1.85 on the money line. Now, Auburn's undefeated on their home court this year, 12-0 straight up at home. They also rank in the top 10 in offensive rebounding. Meanwhile, LSU, they failed to cover the point spread in seven out of their last nine themselves. They're also allowing 79 points per contest when traveling. Now, oddly enough, three out of LSU's last four games did stay under the number, Meanwhile, Auburn, 13-9 and nine to the under overall for the year. I'm going to lean Auburn Tigers minus 5 and the under 153 in that contest. Next game, Kansas taking on TCU, 12 o'clock Eastern tip-off. Kansas is minus 8, total at 131. So a half a point fade of Kansas and movement upward on the total. Jayhawks open 8.5 down to minus 8, total open 130 up to 131. 62% are leaning Jayhawks, 58% on the over. Right now, TCU's plus 360 on the money line. The Horned Frogs are also averaging just 67 points per contest. They've lost six out of their last seven straight. Kansas on the other side, they rank in the top 10 in the country in offensive field goal percentage. They're also in the top 15 in points allowed. Now, total-wise, Kansas 70% to the under in their last 10. TCU 4-1 to the under in their last five. I'm leaning Kansas minus eight and the under 131 in that game. Next contest, Sparty taking on the Wolverines, 12 o'clock Michigan. Sparty's minus three, total 143. Not a whole lot of movement on this spread. Pretty good two-way action there. Probably going to see it closing at three. Uh, we did see movement downward on the total, however. Once again, Michigan State open and remains minus three. Total open 144 down to 143. 66% are leaning Sparty, 54% shaded toward the under. Right now, Michigan's plus 120 on the money line. Now, the Wolverines, winners of two out of their last three games, they're averaging 78 points per contest. They're also 8-4 and four straight up on their home court. Michigan State on the other side, just 2-3 and three straight up in their last five themselves. They also failed to cover the point spread in four out of their last seven. Sparty's 8-0 to the under in their last eight as well. I think Michigan should keep it close here. Might not win it outright, but they should be able to keep it within three. I'm going to lean Michigan Wolverines plus three and the under 143 in that game. Before we go ahead and move on, just want to take another quick timeout and once again welcome you to the show. Got some lines and personal leans out for Saturday's college basketball action. And of course, this is part one of a uh, two-part set. So anyway, uh, welcome to part one of our college basketball pick video here for Saturday. Happy Saturday to you. Hopefully you had a great Friday night, and hopefully you're going to have a, uh, a great um, weekend. I got a lot planned here today. I uh, got some stuff going on in the afternoon, and then um, a good friend of mine, uh, Big Mike from Atlanta, he flew in on uh, Thursday, and I haven't been able to uh, hook up with him, but I am uh, meeting him tonight with um, the wife and uh, all the uh, 
I, I, I call them the slop tarts, all my wife's friends. But anyway, uh, we're all going to go out tonight and meet up Big Mike uh, in the city with uh, some more of my boys. It's just going to be a, uh, a big crowd, a lot of fun, and always good to see Big Mike uh, whenever he comes into town. I only see him about four times a year as he, uh, like I said, he flies in from Atlanta, but uh, one of my best friends, always good to see him. But uh, anyway, guys, before we go ahead and move on, uh, just got to quickly remind you once again, uh, once again to check me out on the website uh, at patreon.com slash Brock Page, where once again we improved yesterday to 4-0 in our last four NBA package plays. We're also 6-2 and in our last eight crowd pleaser teasers. Good news is I have a crowd pleaser te uh, teaser going off today. Uh, I'll give you a little hint. They're all in college basketball. All three legs of the teaser are in college basketball. We have a massive slate, so uh, very optim uh, I'm very optimistic about that teaser. Once again, I do daily premium sports picks on that website, beginning at just $1.99 per month. I did go 2-3 and three yesterday on that site. Uh, my first losing day in... It feels like years. Uh, we've been red hot. Uh, but anyway, uh, it is what it is. That's the name of the game. Now, guys, you might be wondering, why would I buy a pick from Brock when he gives me all the uh, you know college picks here for free on YouTube? And uh, that's a great thought. That's a great question. But I'll, I'm going to tell you this much. You cannot bet every single game on the board side in total with your hard-earned money and expect to win in the long run. You're going to end up losing in the short run, as a matter of fact. So what I do on Patreon, I make life a lot easier for you. I don't give you... 37 picks i break it down and focus in on three to four premium picks per day today we have four picks going off on patreon so uh check that out patreon.com slash brock page let's go ahead and get into some more free picks all right next game kentucky taking on tennessee one o'clock eastern tip off in that game uh kentucky open as the two-point favorite up to minus two and a half total of 131 up to 131 and a hook 68% are leaning Kentucky, 59% shaded toward the over. Right now, Tennessee's plus $1.30 on the money line. Now, in this matchup here, this is a marquee game. Two very strong teams. The case can be made for either team to cover the point spread. So I'm going to do just that real quick. Tennessee, 8-4 and four straight up at home. Top 15 in points allowed at home as well. Meanwhile, Kentucky on the other side equally as impressive as they've won 8 out of their last 10 games. And they're averaging 75 points per contest. So if you want to know who I'm picking in this game, subscribe to my daily best play, guys. This game is my daily best play. And it's just $1.99. And you're going to get the daily best play through the end of the month. That's right. $1.99 through the end of the month. Uh, find out who I'm picking in this game. That is my daily best play on Patreon. Now, total-wise, Kentucky 70% to the over in their last 10. So I do think this game is going to get over the number, the over uh, over 131 and a half. But like I said, if you want to you know, figure out or see who I'm picking to cover this game, uh, join my daily best play on patreon.com slash Brock Page. All right, next game, it is going to be Purdue taking on Indiana, 2 o'clock Eastern tip-off. The Hoosiers open as the two-point favorite, up to two and a half. Total open 129 and a half, down to 126 and a hook. 61% are leaning Hoosiers, 56% shaded toward the over. Right now, Purdue's plus $1.30 on the money line. Now, Purdue's just two and six straight up on the road. They're averaging 58 points per contest when traveling. Meanwhile, the Hoosiers, 12 and two straight up on their home court themselves. They're averaging 78 points per contest at home. Indy, 80% to the under in their last 10. I'm going to lean Hoosiers, minus 2.5, and, and the under, 126.5 in that game. Next contest, West Virginia taking on Oklahoma, and that is going to be a 2 o'clock Eastern tip-off in that game. West Virginia open minus 3, down to 2.5, total open 139.5, up to 140 and a hook. 62% are leaning West Virginia, 51% shaded toward the over. Oklahoma's plus a buck and a quarter on the money line. Oklahoma losers of five out of their last eight. They also covered just 30% of their games at home. West Virginia on the other side, winners of seven out of their last nine themselves. They also rank in the top 10 in the country in offensive rebounding. Seven out of West Virginia's last 10 away games stayed under the number. I'm going to lean West Virginia minus two and a half. And the under 140 and a hook in that game. Next contest, Seton Hall taking on Villanova. 2.30 Eastern tip-off at the Wells Fargo Center in South Philly. It is a home game for Nova, 
But a big matchup here, so they moved it to the Wells Fargo Center. They tend to do that on Saturday games uh, down there in the main line. But anyway, Villanova open as the three-point favorite up to three and a half. Total open 139 and a half, up to 140. 52% are leaning Villanova, 61% shaded toward the over. Right now, Seton Hall's plus a buck 60 on the money line. The Pirates are giving up just 65 points per game. They're also 9-1 and one straight up in their last 10. Villanova, losers of their last two straight themselves. They failed to cover the point spread in those two losses. They're shooting just 43% from the field as the official home team. Now, total-wise, four out of Nova's last six games stayed under the total. I think this is a pretty good spot for Seton Hall backers. Uh, at least they should be able to keep this one close. I'm going to purchase the half a point, buy it up, and lean Seton Hall plus four and the under 140 in that contest. Next game, Minnesota taking on Penn State. 4 o'clock Eastern tip-off, Bryce Jordan Center in Happy Valley. Penn State open 6.5, down to minus 6. Total open 138.5, down to 138. 65% are leaning Penn State, 57% shaded toward the over. Right now, Minnesota's plus 230 on the money line. Golden Gophers just 4-5 and five against the spread in their last nine. They've also gone just 1-7 and seven straight up on the road this year. They're averaging just 63 points per contest as the official road team. Penn State on the other side, right in the middle of a five-game winning streak. They've been a very strong team this year. They're also 11-1 straight up at the Bryce Jordan Center. They rank the top 35 in the nation in offensive rebounding. Six out of their last eight stayed under the number. Minnesota 5-0 and to the under in their last five themselves. Give me Penn State minus six and the under 138 in that contest. All right, next and final game here for our part one version of college basketball picks. It's going to be Virginia taking on Louisville, 4 o'clock Eastern tip-off. The Cardinals opened 8.5, down to minus 7.5. Total open 114 and a hook, down to 114 even. 57% are leaning Louisville, 55% shaded toward the over. Right now, Virginia's plus 280 on the money line. Now, the Cavaliers are averaging just 52 points per contest on the road. They're also shooting just 39% from the field and 22% from downtown when they travel. Louisville on the other side, winners of their last nine straight. They rank in the top five in the country in shooting the three ball. Six out of Louisville's last eight got over the number. Give me the Cardinals, minus seven and a half, and the over 114 in that contest. All right, guys, that's going to do it for me. Let's go ahead and dive into some shout-outs real quick. Once again, brought to you by Patreon.com slash Brock Page. Shout-out to Vernon Williard, YTPO. YTPO, really uh, with the good troll jobs, man. Very funny. Uh, Renisha Brown, Rocco's Pizza. Sean Dolty, Almighty. Uh, let's try that again. Almighty Addo TV. Uh, Charlie XCX. Nice to see Charlie XCX in the comments section. Uh, nice um, pop. Uh, musician. Uh, shout out to Guardian Angel, Injustice Berserker, Roy Munson, Jose, Roy Munson, Roy Munson, Jose Alfredo, uh, Jose Alfredo uh, coming at me with some good insults too. I love that. It's so, it's so funny when you guys do that. Uh, shout out to Chris Nasca. And last but certainly not least, got to give a shout out to my good friend, Giovanni Diaz. All right, guys, that's going to do it for me. Don't forget to check me out on Patreon. But most importantly, I got to thank you for joining me right here on YouTube. I really hope you enjoyed all this great free content, all this great free information. I'll see you in about an hour for part two of this video where, you know, we'll cover the later games tonight. But, uh, you know, thank you for tuning in. And uh, I really hope you enjoyed all this great free content, all this great free information. Happy Saturday to you. Best of luck to you. And I look forward to seeing you later on today on my website at patreon.com slash Brock Page.